All right, guys, I'm gonna teach you how to super jump on controller, okay? Super easy. Super easy, how to super jump on controller in Apex Legends Season 15. First things first, what is super jumping? Super jumping is being on a zip line of any kind, whether it's vertical or horizontal, and getting an extra boost like you see here. Normally when you grab and you get a jump, that's all it is, it's just grab, jump off, it's really low, or you can jump and get a, get a small one, right? You don't really get any momentum, you don't get anything, okay? You see how that works? So, a super jump is gonna give you an extra boost of momentum and allow you to cover more ground inside of Apex Legends. And it's actually a really cool movement tech to have. So let's see, if I just grab an R9 real quick and we just beam, beam this guy, right? I can go down and super jump and beam, get back on here, right? No problem. And just beam these guys, right? It's super cool, man. There's some great content creators out there that do this stuff, okay? I recommend having a controller with paddles, okay? If you have a controller with paddles, it's gonna be super, super easy to do inside of Apex. If you don't, it's gonna be a little bit harder and this is what I suggest that you do. You're gonna go to your button layout and all you're gonna do is put it on bumper jumper. This allows you to have jump on L1. So then that way when you interact, right, you can just jump really easy. It's super easy to do with L1 as jump, okay? Super easy to do. So I definitely recommend doing bumper jumper if you're not using paddles. Okay, so how to super jump, all right? And this applies to horizontal and vertical zip lines, okay? When you get on a zip line, you have three jumps that you can do before it automatically kicks you off, okay? You get three to do and then you can't jump on it anymore until you hit the ground. So how do we make the super jump happen? Because when you press square and you ride it and you just jump off, you don't do anything. So the key to this is when you hit your interact button, you're gonna wanna hit jump twice consecutively back to back. So then when you do it, it looks like this. Now, if you mistime it, right, you get a small one, right? And it messes up, right? Or you get that small jump like this, or that was a super jump, but you get a small jump like that. So you wanna hit interact, jump, jump at the same time. Super easy tech, you move, easy, no problem, right? And you just ball out. So again, you wanna hit interact, jump, jump, no problem. Now, when you're, when you're super jumping, I believe you can do it back to back consecutively, right? Just like this, and you're kind of tiptoeing along the zip line, which is really, really cool. So now that's for horizontal ones. It's probably the easiest to get your practice in on a horizontal zip line because you can just run and practice. Or if you want, you can just stand and interact is right there where you're standing, which is great. And you can just practice. You know if you get a zip line, if you get the double jump really high, and that's what it looks like. Here's what it looks like without, right? That's without it. That's with it. And this is, well, that's with it. And this is without it, right? So now the, the vertical zip lines, which you guys see all the streamers do in the streamer buildings. So this is really easy. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come over, you're gonna hit interact and you're gonna hit double jump again. But at the same time, you're gonna turn and then double jump and go forward again. The best way I've learned how to do this is your interact button, you're just gonna wanna hold it. So when you hold, right? and you just boom, you zip line away, right? Because as long as you hold it, it allows you just to interact as soon as the prompt comes right back up. And it makes it really easy to just, you know, grab onto, right? And you can just see how much distance and coverage I have. This is where you see people start at the bottom of the zip line and get to the third or fourth story really quick, right? Because see, now look how high I am already. Again, it's really easy. You just hold interact, double jump, and leave your interact on hold, it makes it super easy to do. Now, when you're in the streamer buildings, and this can be tough in the firing, but in the streamer buildings, when I jump, you know, I only go about to here from the zip line because of the buildings, right? So then you're able to just zip and turn and get the, uh, the zip line really quick again. Now, if you don't have a fast turn sensitivity, it's gonna be a lot harder to do this because it's harder to turn, right? So you wanna be able to just do it. Now my advice there is to just hold interact and you're gonna to wanna to preemptively turn and then turn the rest of the way with holding interact, right? So I just get it, boom, no big deal. 
but super jumping is an awesome movement tech to have inside of apex legends but once you once you get the hang of super jumping it's a lot of fun and it's such a cool movement tech you can do to just style on people so that's how to can uh, or how to super jump on controller inside apex legends in season 15 guys i hope this video really does help if it does leave a like comment below let me know if you can super jump um on controller and if this video has helped out make sure to like and share it guys as always stay gaming i'll catch you in the next one peace